Hi, my name is Cem Demircioğlu. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to create Azure Data Factory notifications. Notifications are really handy because it, it, it provides you uh, crucial information about your automated jobs, uh, whether they succeeded, they failed, or certain things that you are interested in that happens at certain thresholds. How do you create them? Uh, it is quite easy. Um, you just need to create a, a JSON notification template and decide on three factors. What is the operation that you are interested in? What is the status of it? And if you are really uh, interested in substatuses, some of the operations have substatuses as well. Finally, you just deploy to Azure PowerShell. Now, this is the, uh, the long way of creating an, uh, a notification. There is also the UI piece of it that you can use the UI to create the same notification, but the UI piece um, is not available at this time. Um, they are working on it, I guess. So I'm going to use the, the PowerShell approach. Before I go into the PowerShell, I would like to show you the operation statuses and substatuses. So these are the operation names, statuses, and substatuses that are available for you to, to consume. Uh, the most important thing, or the most frequently I use, is the run finished, and it has got two statuses, either failed or succeeded. You can define a substatus, and these are the substatuses that are available. But be careful, if you select failed, and then select substatus as succeeded, the conditions are never ever going to met, hence uh, it's not going to work out. You are not going to get any email at all. Now let me show you how the the, the notifications you can access from the UI. I click on my data factory and this is my initial screen. As you can see I just scroll down a little bit and under operations here's my operation. It doesn't give you the, the full um, full description of it um, but it at least gives you that there's an operation and if you want you can disable it or, or delete it. Now how we create this notification it is quite easy. Here's our, the JSON file that I mentioned before and the most important three things are right at this stage. Uh, the operation name which I selected as run finished. The status is selected as um, succeeded and sub statuses and I'm interested in the succeeded one as well. Um, last but not least, you need to define your email address. Once you define this email address, what you're going to do is you will come, um, you if you're using the PowerShell, uh, you define new Azure group deployments and you define the resource group name and then you define the template file. And Here's my template file that I just showed you, the HR notification, HR notification.json file. I'll copy these two lines to my PowerShell screen and paste it. It will validate it and then it will try to create the HR notification template for you. And once it's succeeded, it gives you an alert and says, say, I'm successful. Okay, now we are successfully deployed and let's say this particular pipeline successfully run. I already run a couple times. Um, I'll try to run it again. But behind the scenes, what happens is uh, it's going to start running. You know, it's in progress right now. As you can see, these are the statuses, by the way. So this is the status of um, running. Um, and it's in progress and underneath it there is a subset is called running so if you want you can capture those those statuses so um, what is going to happen once this successfully finishes in our case is we are going to receive an email from Microsoft and it's, it's going to go uh, come from mail.windowsazure.com uh, to your email address. Be careful, this mail may end up in your junk mail or in your promotions email. At Gmail, it went to, into my promotions. Um, you just need to set a rule. And in that email, it is going to tell you what is the, the alert name, or what is the, the data factory when it ran. Again, it's UTC time. And then it's going to give you some basic information about um, 
the the rule name rule description operation name um, event description and the operation ID um, it has got some more information but it involves some um, PII data so I cannot show you that that portion so if you have any questions or comments feel free to write it to me at cmd at abacusdms.com or you can just comment on this email um, video too thank you for watching bye bye